All right, uh, we're going to dramatically change gears here and talk about movies. Batman, one of the most highly anticipated movies of this year, is finally out on the big screen. Oops. All right, with more, I want to bring in film critic Richard Krause. Richard, uh, brand new cast, new director, lots of buzz. What did you think of it? And you really have to talk to us about what you thought of Pattinson as Batman. Yeah, Robert Pattinson, everyone knows him as Edward Cullen from the Twilight movies. And I'll tell you, those movies taught him how to brood. Nobody broods like Robert Pattinson on camera. It's almost like his perfect cheekbones will shatter if he cracks a smile in those movies and now in the new Batman movie, where he plays Batman at the very beginning of his career. He's only been a crime fighter for a couple of years. And uh, he's still trying to figure it out. He's driven by vengeance for the deaths of his parents. Uh, the police don't trust him. The people of Gotham City don't particularly trust him. And he's working towards trying to bring the Riddler, played by Paul Dano, to justice. And he is aided in that uh, with the help of Catwoman, played by Zoe Kravitz. And this is uh, an epic Batman movie, kind of unlike the ones that we've seen before. It's three hours long. And I'll wow. tell you, it didn't feel like three hours to me. I was dreading it going in because <laughs> I've been complaining lately about how long movies are. This went by in the bat of an eye for me. Uh, the action sequences are really well calibrated. But what I liked about it is that it's a really zeitgeisty kind of movie. It is set in a time where uh, the world has kind of been turned upside down. There's lots of talk of agents of chaos and lying politicians and a lot of things that wouldn't seem, frankly, that much out of place on the television news or in a newspaper today. Uh, but what I liked about this is, as it starts off, we have Batman who says he's about vengeance. Uh, that's what he's Therefore, that is his main purpose. But by the end of the movie, and this is not a spoiler, he realizes that vengeance alone uh, isn't going to uh, solve Gotham's problems or his problems, that the only way is if we have a little bit of hope moving forward and looking forward to the future. So I like the message from this. Yeah. I did not mind the three-hour runtime, which is unusual for me. I usually think that an hour and a half is more than enough time to tell any story that you want to tell. And I think Robert Pattinson is, right now, for the time that we're sitting in, the Batman that we deserve. We deserve a Batman who is trying to fight his way out of the chaos of the world and into a more hopeful future. And so you would give it, drum roll please. Oh, I'm giving it four out of, four out of five stars. And uh, here's the, the biggest recommendation I could give it. I'd go see it again and sit there for another three hours. First you liked rom-coms a couple weeks ago. Now you like three hour <laughs> movies. Richard. The pandemic has changed me. <laughs> it's changed you. I haven't seen you in two years, so we'll see soon, I, I hope. Uh, Richard Krause, thank you so much. <laughs> Have a great weekend. Thanks.